the team of NASA is regularly working on its new mission to collect samples from the outer space. Last year, NASA's first asteroid sample return spacecraft, OSIRIS-REx, fired its thrusters for 30 seconds on September 21 and nudged its trajectories towards Earth. As per the reports, the spacecraft is on track to deliver a sample of the asteroid Bennu back to our planet on September 24, 2023. But how will NASA execute this plan? The delivery itself is not a simple parcel drop. NASA's OSIRIS-REx, formerly the Origin Spectral Interpretation Resource Identification Security, Regolith Explorer, must approach Earth at a precise speed and direction to deliver its sample return capsule into Earth's atmosphere. If OSIRIS-REx stayed on its current trajectory, the spacecraft would pass Earth at a distance of about 1370 miles, that is 2200 kilometers. So, in July 2023, the spacecraft will begin a series of steering maneuvers. The process will bring OSIRIS REx even closer, 255 miles off the surface, that is close enough to release its sample capsule for a precision landing via parachute at the Air Force's Utah test and training range in the Great Salt Lake Desert. Asteroids can act as time capsules, preserving the earliest history of our solar system and possibly even chemical signatures of the ancestral building blocks of life, something scientists could learn more about by studying the Bennu samples in the lab. With just less than a year to go, the mission team is already preparing for the sample's arrival. NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston built a new curation lab specifically to store the sample. Engineers and curation experts are designing specialized glove boxes, tools and storage containers to preserve the sample in pristine condition. NASA is working closely with the Air Force and Army to practice capsule retrieval and transport to on-site facilities at the Utah Range. Dear Mr. CM, while well, you're not surprised or even remotely shocked as our babies get killed, Russia reclaiming the position USSR had. If uh, Moscow is controlling Ukraine, it is knocking at the door of European Union. Atrocities against the entire nation continues in Ukraine. Who is the better batsman between India's Virat Kohli and Pakistan's Babar Azam? Is there a Hollywood film next? I hope. Because of the hashtag boycott Bollywood forever trend. In a major boost, India inducts LCH helicopters to counter China and Pakistan threats. 5G services in India, big move for India. 